Hello and welcome back to Curiosities of Staffordshire after a long absence. Today I'm taking the opportunity to talk about a curiosity that may soon have the last of its legacy demolished. Uh, the format of this video is going to be a bit different than usual as there's not really much to see in the present location other than a derelict pub car park, which wouldn't make for riveting viewing for the whole video. Uh, the reason we're looking at this car park is because this site was long believed to be the location of an engineering prototype of noted canal engineer James Brindley, who was perhaps the most notable resident of Turnhurst Hall, the manor house at the centre of the former Turnhurst estate. The car park we see in the photo was situated nearby to the manor house, and was according to local legend, the site of a water feature which had long been speculated to be some sort of prototype canal created by James Brindley for experiments and refinement of his designs. Whilst the feature in question is displayed on some old maps of the estate, and in contemporary newspaper articles dating from the 19th century, the feature probably predated James Brindley's residence at Turnhurst, which began in 1765 and lasted till his death in 1772. There was always the possibility that Brindley modified this feature for his engineering experiments, but there was very little physical evidence of this on the surface until the early 1990s, when the former Turnhurst Hall had long since been demolished and the estate turned into a housing development. In the early 90s, the site of the mentioned water feature was earmarked to become a pub for the new estate, and the potential archaeological significance of the site was noted in the planning application. But before work could be begin, an archaeological dig was conducted on the site. And, and it did indeed find evidence of a water feature that included a sluice gate, possibly a prototype lock at one end, confirming what the re local residents had long believed. Sadly, there are no available photos of the dig or its discoveries, or at least not that I could find. Once the dig had concluded and the building of the pub went ahead as planned, although I've heard from locals that the location of the building was moved slightly to accommodate the discovery. I don't know whether this is true or not. And then after the dig, the site was preserved in a concrete shell underneath the car park, and the car park built directly over it. And from then on, there was very little indication that the site was there at all, not even a plaque to mark its exact place. Uh, the legacy of the discovery was preserved in the name of the pub, which was called Brindley's Lock. However, the reason I'm making this video today is that the pub is likely to be demolished soon to make way for a new housing development, after which all legacy of this discovery will probably be lost. Usually I end these videos by telling you how to find the site and encouraging you to visit yourself, but there really isn't much to see, and there'll be even less to see very soon. Nonetheless, I hope you found this little video interesting. Uh, please check out the rest of my channel for more curiosities of Staffordshire. Thank you very much.